What's going on guys, Zfreezone here, I'm back with Space Engineers, as you can see we finally got our roof up here, nothing else has really changed, we have got batteries up in the corner here and a couple to spare when we need it, but they're charging up as th at the moment. Uh, back out to our little ship that we were working on last time, uh, I did notice we didn't have any down thrusters on the space thrusters, so we put some of those in which we got to build now. And I also put a parachute in as well. Not too sure how the parachutes work, but I guess we'll find out. And we'll grab these guys as well, because when we're in space, we do want to go down as well, not just up. So let's grab all these guys. And we'll come over here and grab everything out. We should have everything. But yeah, today's episode, we're going to try and go to space and see how we go out in the environment up there. I was looking up before, there is like a kind of asteroid looking thing up there, so maybe we'll aim straight for that and see what we get out of there. But we do want uranium and we do want uh, platinum, I believe it is. Uh, there's, there's elements that we do want outside, which we do not have on the inside here. But I'm thinking that parachute's going to help us re enter when we're full of all that good stuff. So we're going to see how we go there. Um, other than that, I think we are pretty good. Uh, let's have a look in here. Because uh, it's still connected, I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll unconnect it here. So these thrusters here, we'll turn these guys on. And then we'll let go of P, and then we should be able to just float up. Beautiful. And it's like we only got an hour of power, which that's not good. We have got two batteries, so we should be pretty good. Like, definitely not great, but we should be pretty good. Oh, looks like we're stuck again onto the roof there, so that's where we want to go. Now we're going to have a look at this guy because this has got everything that we need now. Uh, we're going to have a look at the HG tanks there. Uh, we're going to look at the cargo container because um, I want to see how much ice we got. We've got 1k there, it's only half full. And that's all the ice we have all together. So we're definitely going to have to get some more ice here. Uh, let's go back and let's park our bums down here. Over a little bit, there should be fine. Alright, we'll jump out of there. And we'll go grab some ice out of this guy because we do need ice to re enter. So we're going to have to make sure we have got enough ice there. Uh, we can take the, the stone, that's not ice. We'll put that back in there. Uh, there's some ice there. Do need ice still into that guy, so let's put this back in. Oh, it took some ice anyway. Alright, so this should be enough ice for us. We don't need too much, so we should be right there. I'll grab this, the ice there, put that on top of there, and that's full now. And then we'll go to large cargo container and we'll put that guy in there. So. We've got a little bit of ice to back us up here, so let's um, let's go for it. I guess um, 29 minutes. The battery is what I'm worried about here, but I guess we'll be alright. Um, oh, we'll fall from the sky. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. I reckon uh, we should be able to take off the hydrogen and just go up for now. So we're just going to use this to go up, which is a little bit slow, but we're picking up speed, so we'll get there eventually. Just so we can save a bit of that ice when we're up. But as you can see, we're going up quite nice. We've got 30 minutes on the battery, so hopefully that's enough there. But just give me a second and I'll get into space and we'll start from there because this could take a little bit. Because I heard there was a mod to do with the speed because we stop at 100. 
but I haven't actually put that mod on there. I just want to see, play the game for as it is at the moment and see how we go with that, uh, see if it's any good. Uh, you can see we're slowing down, so I'm going to turn on those. And um, we should be a lot better there. But yeah, give me a second, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, okay, guys, so I believe we are in space now. Not nearly. But as you can see in front of me, there's an asteroid, so we're going to go towards that and see what that guy's got. And there's one over here, it looks like two. So we've got a couple over here, so we'll go check them out, see what they got. Uh, but it might take us a little bit to get there, or in between these guys at least, anyway. But we're going pretty good. I've just been throttling up and down, or just been tapping the throttle to keep it at 99 meters a second. And that seems to be pretty good for us. Uh, the dampenings are off, so it's not slowing us down at all. But I think the gravity's still holding on to us just that little bit. But it looks like the one on the right over here, I think that looks a bit white, so I'd say that's ice. Which would be really good. Um, but I'm thinking about making a base and just blasting a base off into space and then um, having that guy up here. So that, I think that would be a good idea to have like a little base up here. So yeah, we'll probably try that next time, but um, I'll get the base ready before next episode. But yeah, just so we can come up here today is pretty cool. That red thing over there, I'm not too sure what that is. Just come up with a word there. Private Villa. Don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but as you can see, there is another asteroid there as well. It's kind of hard to tell which one's closer at the moment, but we have got a few different asteroids around us. We've got this guy, that one there, we've got this one to the side there, and then that one. Which that one looks like the big main one, doesn't it? I think maybe we'll go have a look at this white one first and then travel down. Well, it depends which one comes first, I guess, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, we're traveling pretty good. Um, five hours on the electric, which is good. Hydrogen is fine. We can always stop and just let it recharge a bit. So we do have a generator on, but yeah, I'm going to continue and I'll land on one of these guys and come back to you. Alright, kind of looks like we're getting close to this one here hard to say but a lot of little ones around here have popped up as well now we got closer to it but we are moving in quite fast now so I might put the dampeners on and the dampeners will slow us down here but it looks like we're getting pretty close to this end a lot bigger than I thought and there's a few little guys there too right next to it looks like yeah it's really hard to tell what's um what's close and what's far away out in here, out in space, but um, this is definitely close right now so we could probably do a little flyby here hopefully our ore detector picks up something because that would be nice, but we're going to get out and have a look at see what this thing is because it is, it's quite white, I was thinking it's going to be ice, but yeah, it's hard to tell I'll just come around here Looks like we could park. Let's try parking on the asteroid. Yep, we're stuck. Alright. Oop. Yeah, one of the feet at least touch. There's where we come from. Um, as you can see, a body location. I guess the body location is a good marker. That looks like the moon over there. Yeah, I did see a couple of planets over here too. Over there in the distance. But let's have a look at this guy. Let's get our drill out because that might actually pick up some ore as well. But I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Uh, let's do a little bit of digging and see what this guy's made of. It's just stone, it looks like. It's definitely not ice yet. Yeah, let's have a little float around and see if I can find anything. And then we'll go back to the ship, which. Antenna is there so I can see the ship, so that's good. But yeah, I'll fly around and uh, see if I find anything for you guys. Right, I honestly can't find anything there, but um, the ore detection on this game is pretty bad. Even we have a um, detector on here, but it doesn't go, it only goes 50 meters, so that is 
absolutely nothing so I'm not too sure how to get more of that I guess it's another mod but you think the game would have had something else in but I can't find any ore on this guy so maybe we'll just go to the next one that one over there's kinda of got a yellow tinge to it but I think that's the moon so we won't be going to that one right off the bat now let's see what's around here is there any other asteroids that are really close no I think we should just go towards that red that red guy there and then jump on any other asteroid we see along the way like maybe one of these guys so uh, yeah we'll see so we'll get over to one of these guys and see if we can get some ore there just want something nice that would be good but yeah we'll see how we go alright so we come across this other guy here Something's been exploded up there. Uh, but we'll check for ore around here. Hopefully we can find something this time. Do you think you'd be able to see it a little bit easier out here? I'm going to run into it. Doesn't look like there's anything on this little guy. Uh, but there you go. There's a little bit of difference there. We'll see what this guy is. Oh, there we go. Uranium. That's what we want. There we go, we can farm this guy like crazy. Got like two plots there. Was one. That's what we want. So let's go get the ship and bring it over here. And then we can start building up everything that we want. Fill the ship up with that uranium and then we can go cruising off. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna park our bums just around here. So it's easy to get to. There we go. That's locked on. And now we want to kind of dig through the side because I don't want because everything just goes everywhere. So I kind of want to go through the side here, make a bit of a tube first, and then start getting this stuff because I don't want it just floating everywhere. You see here, it just starts to go everywhere. Because we're in space, of course, like there's a little bit of um, gravity on this um, on this guy, but there's not much gravity at all, really. So, yeah. Here, we're going to dig this out for a bit, and we'll just fill up the ship, and I'm going to get back here, but this is going to take a little bit. I don't think you guys want to see me just here hammering away. So, yeah, I'll be right back, and we'll get a chest full of this uranium, and living life all right guys so i am a pretty full here if we have a look at the inventory it did take a little bit because this thing holds quite a bit this stuff is pretty light so we've got 42k in the container here as you can see that's maxed out and we just got a little bit in the cockpit there but when i was doing that i did have a float around and we did see some more i believe it was over this way if you have a look over here there's another patch of uranium so I've saved this point so we can come back here at another time so that's my little save just there but yeah we are pretty much good to go here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save it here because that did take a while and we're gonna go have a look at that red spot that we, we keep finding the private villa and we're gonna have a look at that guy and see what that's all about uh, we'll turn on these guys and this one here is missing seven and eight so we'll turn that on get these guys and turn them on uh, actually we can turn the atmosphere ones off because we're not in the atmosphere and then we are pretty good so let's uh take off here oh i can already feel we are much heavier so it's going to be interesting how we go with that uh i have not found any more ice so if we run out of ice going to this place we're gonna have to get ice somewhere else to get back to earth but um, yeah let's see if we can do this we've only got 69 left um, we are in space so we shouldn't be slowing down too much I guess we are close to the asteroid there maybe that's why we're slowing down a little bit but other than that we should be right here so we're just gonna go over to this private villa and see what that guy's all about 
We might stop off over at this asteroid over here just to see if he's got any ice because if we can get some ice we are pretty much golden but right now we're trying to preserve as much as we can well, we're getting close to this in here so let's uh, turn on the dampeners oh yeah that was um, not a good idea because we've got nothing to help us out there maybe we could just run into it Oh, it's, it's a, the drone the villa, that kind of like sucked right, let's try and run into it, we can always um, reload our file well, oh, that's it, she's gone what is this here, it looks like another ship well, there we go alright, so we're going to reload that file because that kind of sucks so we're not going to go back over there because now we are on the base Alright, let's quickly reload. <laughs> Alright, guys, that didn't go to plan, so we're not going to go that way again. Because that absolutely rocked our world. Uh, but let's uh, put these engines on, because I just started there without getting ready. And we need to do the 7 and 8. I need to join those into everything else, but that's right for now. Alright, so let's get back down to Earth. So I'm not going to go over that way. That really did suck, <laughs> but we are good now. Alright, so let's go back down to Earth. Should we have a look at that guy over there? He does look pretty close, doesn't he? Hopefully we don't get too close to that that other guy, because that kind of... <laughs> that took us out of the sky real fast. Alright, so what do we got around us? Yeah, we've got a few going. I'll uh, take these dampeners off. Yeah, the dampeners are off. Alright, so let's go have a look at this one. Hopefully there's some ice for us. If not, we're just going to have to float back down to Earth. Which, we're not too far away here, as you can see. But we definitely need some guns on this end, because... Um, yeah, we weren't ready for that guy one little bit. He just ripped for us. Now we'll get up to speed, 100, and we'll just let it cruise for a little bit. Looks like this thing's pretty close, because it's kind of like moving a little bit here. Sure, it's just hard to tell where everything is, how far anything is. It's um, be good if you had like a distance radar send out a beam of light and see how far things are alright so we made it to this guy and it looks like there's a little patch of something over here it kinda looks like iron but I guess we'll find out when we get a bit closer slow down a little bit more what is this guy kinda it's a bit reddish yeah it is iron so we've got iron down there which isn't too bad uh, we'll save that on the GPS maybe this asteroid is full of iron uh, so we'll go down here GPS location and we'll just save that guy in there and then we have a little tick saying iron so that's beautiful now we know that we've actually been here before and we had a quick look so let's uh, run around and have a quick look while we're here and see if there's anything else I'm really hoping for some ice, <laughs> I need ice so bad at least next time we know that we need to bring a little bit more ice there's a bit of a hole here Tell you what, I didn't make this hole, so let's go down and see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. So that's um, interesting how this has got a massive hole in it. Alright, well let's go let's go back home I think before we run out of ice here. 
Alright, so yeah, we're just going to go back home with what we've got. Hopefully we can make the entrance. Um, it's going to be interesting either way. But we are going to go straight down to where the body location is. And yeah, we'll see how we go from there. We'll take the dampeners off so we don't struggle against that owner. And we should be all right. We go up to 100. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we hit Earth and see how that goes. Hopefully the parachute opens up. I did put on auto to 1,000 metres. Uh, we're at 34,000 at the moment, so we've got a long way to go. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. Alright, so I think we're coming into land here. The parachute should set off. I was still got a fair bit with 9,000 to go. But I'm trying to slow down here and that's not happening. So we're definitely really heavy. I'm not hopeful for that parachute, but I want it to work because we are really low at the moment. So we'll see how this works. Um, yeah, hopefully it does, or it's not just a big crash and burn. I did save it before we entered, so hopefully we don't need to use it. But we have got it as backup. But we're coming down fast, six thousand. We're down to five thousand, so. Yeah, I'm hoping that this parachute works because I am not too sure of it and we are flying at the moment and I cannot stop that. Like I'm trying to go up now. As you can see the speed is not changing. So that is really scary. The atmospheric um, thrusters are on. They're just not working. i look over here. We're trying to push up, nothing's happening. We're coming down really fast here. Oh, we've got 2,000, nearly up to 1,000. Hopefully, this parachute comes out any second now because we're going to need it. We're going to need it right about now. No parachute, that's not good because we are falling hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. So that was a bit of a fail. No parachute. I didn't see any parachute come out. So let's try that again. We'll reload that and try coming again and see if we can get it to work. But wow, we must be heavy. Yeah, we lost all our cargo and everything. It's not good. We're going to crash here. Yeah, <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> Oh, now we got control because we got nothing on board. Alright, so then we're going to try and fix that parachute and try again, I guess. Look, now we got full control. We're all good. <laughs> Be right back. In 600 meters, we're at 80. You can see we're going to hit the ground again really hard. Let's try just straight in. I think that's the best <laughs> landing possible and all we did is wipe out the cockpit there. This. <laughs> that was not a good idea because there is absolutely nothing left. Alright guys, so we're coming in pretty hot as usual. Uh, as you can see we're 4,000 metres off the ground, now this time we're going to try and land on the cockpit and see if that helps out, which I think it should because the cargo container's at the back, so that's pretty much all we want at this stage of the game. So we're going to try and get this guy down <laughs> nicely, somehow. Uh, thrusters are working. Not really slowing us down too much there. But we are slowing down pretty good. As you can see, we are right next to the base, so that's good. Yeah, it's not slowing us down much at all, but we are slowing down a little bit. And just before we hit the ground, we are going to go forward and smash the cockpit, and hopefully that works. Which I think it did. That actually looks pretty good. Well, considering 
we just hit the ground and made a big crater with the nose of our spacecraft but hey that's that's pretty good but we're still there still kicking uh yeah no that looks good i'm quite pleased with that it's better than blowing up uh, so that's what we got at the moment with a nice little crater in the ground as well uh, let's see if we can get this guy on its feet it's just not really going on its feet is it We just like fell in the crater more. Alright, so I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, it's not looking good at all, is it? Uh, let's turn this thing off. Turn all power off so it's not destroying itself more. But what we're gonna have to do now is just grab the stuff out of the cargo and ship it back home, which is only like 300 meters away, so that's not bad at all. Uh, let's jump in this then. Have a look at the inventory. Grab that out of there and then grab some out of there, which we can't access because the cockpit hasn't got access to that. Um, we're going to have to get rid of some stuff here. Let's get rid of these two. Uh, we should be able to access the cockpit through here. Oh, the container through there. And we can take out that much at a time. So yeah, I'm just going to travel back and forth. It was a bit unconventional landing, but um, hey, we got it done in the end. <laughs> Maybe upside down now, but um, I would consider that excess. Let's put that guy in there. It's already going through the refinery. And that's what we're getting out of it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just going to go back and forth for a bit, and I'll be back. Alright, guys, okay, so we've emptied her out, so she's a lot more empty now. Uh, let's see if we can get this in flying. <laughs> so somehow we managed to do that let's get this baby home before it's too late because she's had a rough journey uh, we need to put dampeners on here but yeah that was um, pretty hectic coming back in um, I can't believe we survived that but hey if you guys don't have a parachute and can't come in like that I suggest just diving straight into the cockpit, it seems to be the way to go. But yeah, we did struggle with that for a little bit. But anyway, now I know that I need canvases for my parachutes. So next time we will have some canvases. There we go there, we put the brakes on. Get out and we are hooked up. We have a little bit of damage around. But it is pretty good, like, um, compared to how we were landing before, the cockpit's still 100% too. Damn, that's pretty good. I don't even know what took the force, but we got away with it, whatever it was. Now uh, we're just going to have to have another thruster there, the one we just took off to access it. But other than that, we are pretty good. And I wanted to show you guys this pit that I've been digging with this machine. Would you look at that? It's just crazy. We've done more than a couple runs now, as you can see, and we've been smashing it out. But yeah, it's been pretty good. Definitely, um, have a more than enough resources from this guy. I was thinking about making the heads a bit bigger, like maybe squarish or something, so we don't get these little things when we go along. But other than that, that's been going really well. Uh, if we come back over here and have a look, uh, see what this uranium has done for us. Uh, we're going here, we're going to go down the refinery, we've got here, so we've got 10 and it's processing at the moment, which is good. But yeah, that's going alright. Uh, we should have a look at this guy and see if we can make those canvases, see, if, see what she's talking about, because 
honestly I had no idea how to do canvas which I can't see it there to be honest um, quick little look here oh, there it is there that is what we need and the thing is silicon which we got silicon I don't know why at the moment this is struggling to recognize that we got silicon but if you have a look up in inventory we have so much silicon here it's crazy so I don't know why it's whinging about it but that's the assembly there so maybe if I move some silicon into this guy uh, we'll grab these guys out free up some space maybe yeah that's all it was it was full so the symbol was full so I couldn't hold silicon but now we've got some canvases now our parachute should work that was a lot of drama getting up there but we did get what we want and we still have a ship here which isn't that damaged <laughs> surprisingly enough but yeah hope you guys like this episode uh, like comment subscribe there is a discord and facebook if you guys want to jump on that next episode we'll try and make a spaceship like a, a base over here that eventually will shoot up to space and we can have a base in a base in space but we'll start it down here first put some big thrusters and just go straight up so we'll start work on that next episode i think just so we got something to go to and land on in space instead of coming back re-entering i'm sure if i had those canvases the re-entry would be a lot easier but yeah we'll see what happens i'll talk to you guys next episode i hope you guys enjoyed catch you later